Hey guys, it's Kaylor. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today I have a tutorial for you guys. We're going to be designing an onboarding app in Adobe Experience Design. You guys really like when I do the slower style daily UI videos. So I haven't done a Adobe XD tutorial in a while, so I figured I'd do one for you guys today. So let's go ahead and start designing our onboarding application. Alright, so I already have a gradient over here on the side. I'll give you the color codes for both of these. Uh, the purple one is B721FF, and the blue color is 21D4FD. Now you guys can just download the template I have in the description of the project files, and it will already have the colors, the text, and the symbols laid out for you. And all you have to do is drag them in if you would like. So let's go ahead and just set this background to this color, and we need to open up the Apple uh, iOS kit. And let's grab this green status bar. And I'm just going to paste that in. We'll size it up, holding Shift, Command, Shift, G to ungroup and delete that and the background. And we have a nice status bar. I'm going to name this one one since we're going to have multiple pages. We'll probably do just two pages for this onboarding app. We'll create our second artboard over here in just a bit. But now let's go ahead and add some text. So I'm just going to copy and paste a bit of text in here. Connect with friends. The font I'm going to be using today is Museo Sans. I recommend downloading this through Typekit if you can. So we're going to go with a white fill and a size of 30 with a weight of 500. And I believe that's regular if you have that option as well. I have mine in like code numbers. so. I'm just going to leave that and then I'm going to copy a paragraph text for below this heading and we'll paste that in. Now on this one we're going to want the size to be 20 and I'm going to create a second line right here and then just for spacing issues I'm going to remove that space make sure this is centered and let's center it up on our artboard. I'm going to put all of our text about eight below either headings or images uh, just to stay consistent and I think that looks pretty good. So now we're going to need some kind of page indicator so we're going to do some dots to indicate what page we're on. So I'm just going to grab my circle tool and drag out a circle and let's make this 12 by 12. Remove the border and I'll copy this Put it 10 to the right and drop the opacity down to 50%. I'm going to group those together, position them centered on our artboard, and we'll put it 50 from the bottom of our page. There we go. Now the text, I'm going to group that together, and then I'm just going to put that about 35 from that. So we have something like that. Now we're going to have a series of faces. We're going to have one main face, which is going to represent the user of the app then two main friends and then some friends in the background they're kind of scattered around and they're gonna have a drop opacity so we're gonna create a series of circles to represent these faces I'm gonna lock the height and width and set this to 135 so this is the main face for now I'm gonna change this to a black color so we can see the border on the edge and let's create a white border of four pixels and we'll just kind of position that around here for now and our two friends faces are going to be at a size of 90 and I'll position one here and we'll put one over here let's kind of position these a little better so we'll put it around there Maybe drop this one down a little bit. And then the ones in the background that are going to have like 10% opacity or 5% opacity, they're going to be just slightly smaller than this, so 70 by 70. And we're just going to position these kind of randomly. So we'll put one up here. And then finally one over here. All right, so this looks like a jumbled mess. So let's just go ahead and start adding some faces. I have a faces folder that I use. So I'm going to go ahead and open that on my other monitor and just start dragging them in. So here's our main user, and then I'll just drag in the rest. So I just quickly dragged in all of my faces, and then I just dropped them down to 5% opacity. 
All right, so the last thing I need is an arrow icon, and I'm just going to copy that in from the Google Materials kit. And this will also be provided for you in the project files that I link in the description. So no worries if you don't have that downloaded. And I'm going to put that 30 from the side over here, and I'm going to center it up to these dots. And with that, we can just select the artboard and Command-D to duplicate it. And I'll just rename this one too. And I'm going to select all of our faces except the main one and delete them. This one's going to be aligned center to our artboard. And then from the middle, I'm going to go up 70. So holding shift, using my arrow keys, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And that puts it in a nice centered position. Uh, I find that directly center doesn't look very good. So just above it looks really nice. So this is going to be our group that these three people are going to merge into and I'm going to change the image on that to a photography image and we'll just type out the word photography and I'm going to apply both of these texts to our character styles and I'll just apply the 20 sized font to the photography and we'll position that eight below this. And now we need to replace this text. So I'm gonna grab some, join a group, and then we need our paragraph text. There we go. And we need to create another line on this one. So I'll just go there and then I'll remove the space. Now one thing we can do is we can drop the opacity on this text down to 90 and that just separates it from the heading just a little bit so I'm going to do that over here as well. There we go. Now on the background since we have these faces kind of like floating around back here we want something over here because this looks a little too plain compared to this one. So I'm just going to create a series of circles and we'll drop the opacity on them here in a minute. So I'll put one big one here in the corner. Scale one down, put it over here, put one over here, make it slightly larger. I'll grab this one and put it down here, and then we'll also put one over here. I feel like this one needs to be slightly bigger. And I'm going to select all of these, and I'm just going to remove the border, and then I'm going to drop them down to 5% opacity. So we have something like that. Next, what I want to do is I want to show how many people are in this group or kind of a notification. So I'm going to grab a circle and just drag one out, lock the ratio, and put it at 44 by 44. For now, I'm going to fill it with our gradient. I'm going to remove the stroke. Now in here, I'm going to select this blue color and add it to the swatches here. I'm going to change this back to a solid and change it to this blue. And then we can add this to our assets panel for later use. To align this, I'm going to align the top here together, and then I'm just going to put this out to the side from over here just a little bit, something like that. Let's duplicate this photography text and just put the number three, align that centered, Let's center this one as well. And I'm going to drag this to the center of our circle, Command Shift Right Square Bracket Key to bring it to the front, and we'll align these together. And we have our finished application. Oh, we have to rotate this real quickly. And now our design is done. All right, so now let's head over to the prototype tab. I'm just gonna select artboard one, drag this little line over here, and let's set this to push left, ease out at 0.4 seconds. And then we'll drag this one over to artboard one, and then put that at push right. So if I play this, if we click anywhere on the screen, it will swipe over and swipe back. And with that, our tutorial is done. I hope you guys did enjoy another Adobe Experience Design tutorial on my channel. If you guys did, make sure you let me know by clicking that like button down below. If you have anything to add or you want to ask any questions, make sure you put them in the comments. Subscribe for more UI related content. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys in the next one.
Thanks for watching the video guys, be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. On the left is my previous video, just in case you missed it. On the right is YouTube's recommendation just for you, and the top center icon is my channel icon. Click that to subscribe for more content just like this. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.